Hi everyone, this is Ellie Mae with Silhouette Secrets Plus, and today I'm going to show you how I created a shaped edged card. Uh, it's just a few simple steps. Uh, in the previous video and my tutorial, I showed how I took a design, which is a outline design, and I turned it into this cut file. So this is the file I'm going to be working with, and it, now I can cut it out of the individual pieces. As you can see, all these little pieces are separated. They're all individual. That's covered in the previous video that I will link in the description below. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna group this all together so that we can work with the entire image. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna make a copy. So I'm going to duplicate this and pull it off. So I have an original image to go back to if needed. And then what I'm gonna do is I will also link the tutorials in the description for creating your own card base. There are two ways you could do it. Well, there's more than two ways, but two ways I have tutorials, but I'm gonna use a quick little tool here. I'm going to use this project wizard as my demonstration. So this project wizard opens up and it's a five by seven card. Um, I don't particularly like the score line and we actually need to ungroup it anyhow. So I'm going to choose right click on it and choose ungroup. That's going to ungroup this score line. To me, this is too small and too close together. So I'm just going to come over to the line style panel and then I'm going to choose the perforated line. That's a little bit bolder, a little bit broader. And I'm going to shrink that down because you don't want the cut line on the very edge of your card. So if I shrink that down, again, I have a tutorial um, fully written for this that I'll link. But you wanna have your two pieces completely separate. And then since it opened up on a new design mat, I'm just gonna copy it and I'm going to paste it over on my original. So now I have this and let me increase my transparency or decrease it so you can see. Okay, so we have a, our score line and we have our card base. They're both ungrouped, so they're separate pieces, which is what we need. We're going to work with this, and I actually am gonna delete this because we're gonna resize it, and we need the size that we create for the card. So I'm going to move my little gnome over here, and I'm gonna place him on the edge, and then what I need to do, he is all grouped together, so he all moves and functions as one piece. And that's exactly what we want because we want all the pieces to resize to at the same time. So I want to put this and the reason I'm using the five by seven, you want to stay within these five by seven restrictions of this card base so that your card would fit in the envelope. So I'm just going to shrink this down and I'm watching for my top edge here. I'll try and zoom in on it. You want it as close to the top edge and the right edge and then the bottom as well. So you want it to be inside of this red border of your cut of your card base. You don't want it to extend over it, but you want it to be as close to that border as possible. And then once I have that, I have my size the gnome is gonna be. I can right click, I'm gonna duplicate it and I'm gonna put an original copy to the left side. Then I have the original copy to go back to. And then I'm gonna use this gnome as he is. If you are doing this, I would highly recommend that your, your image has a base layer. That's going to help you. In this case, when I say base layer, I'm meaning that the gnome has a black outline behind it. It has a little bit of an offset to it. So if you want if your image doesn't have that, you may want to create a small offset to use for this so that your design kind of fits right inside of that offset. It's going to give you a little bit of an edge or a border around the design, which can, um, you know, it's just a personal preference, but to me, it looks a little bit better. It makes it stand out a little bit better. So what I'm going to do here is we are actually going to work with the point editing and in a few quick um, clicks of the mouse, we can make this into our shaped card. For the video, I am actually going to move my pieces. So I'm selecting all the little pieces of this gnome. I had ungrouped him to show, but I'm going to select everything, holding my shift key down and move it off. 
So I'm only working with this background layer, which will help us and you'll be able to see it better. So I'm going to double click on my card base. The little gray dots, I'll link more information below, but they are called edit points. And this is how your Cameo or your Silhouette machine knows where to cut. If the, these are the data points of your design. So it, it cuts from dot to dot. Basically your machine connects the dots. All designs are created based on these dots. It's how they are created and what they're made up of. What we're going to do is at the top, we want to come in here where our gnome is and we want to place a dot. So this is going to be a point that it's going to stop at. And then I'm gonna come over here to this dot and I'm actually gonna move it inside. And this is how I have created my own shape card. It seemed to be the fastest way. And then I'm gonna to move to the bottom and I'm gonna do the same thing. And I'm gonna click on the bottom in the middle, wherever you want your card to start the shape. So I created a dot there and I'm going to move this into the center. So now what I've done is I have these two points. I've created two additional points and you can see here my points are not lined up, but you could line it up if you wanted to. I came to the top of where my gnome hat was, where it connected. But what we're going to do now we're done with our point editing. We've moved these inside. So now we can actually click off to deselect your edit points, click back on your card base, hold your shift key down and click on the little gnome, the little outline. And then if I right click and I choose weld, I have my shaped card base. So I could, I'm going to change the color on this card base so you can see it. So now I can move, my gnome, he's behind. That's not a problem if I right click and I choose bring to front. Now he fits right there into my card. So I can just cut all those pieces out that I have and place it on the edge of that card. So this was a quick way that I found that I could create the shaped edge on my cards. And then I was able to cut it out of the card stock. So here's my card base. This is exactly how it shows on the screen. And I was able to cut that shaped edge and then layer my gnome on top of it. This one I cut out of Sparkleberry ink pattern paper. I'll have links to the supplies used in this project and the written tutorial in the description below. This can be used for all different kinds of shapes and objects. I would love to see what you're creating on my Silhouette Secrets with Ellie Mae Facebook group. Let us know how you do. Thank you. Have a great day.